Now, graffiti from the 80s in the West Midlands is being celebrated in a new book. It's called Old So Cool. It'll feature the lost artwork of the streets from 40 years ago. Amy Johnson has been to a graffiti jam in Wolverhampton to find out more. From vandalism to fine art, graffiti has been called many things over the years, and the artists painting at this legal graffiti wall in Wolverhampton have heard it all. I originally first started uh, dabbling in the graffiti world back in 1985, and I think back then, obviously, the world was a different place and artwork on walls wasn't really greatly accepted. Whereas now, today, it, it's part of today's culture. And it really is. Paul was big in the 80s street scene and organised this graffiti jam through his Facebook group, Old So Cool, which has over 19,000 members. He's been working with a publisher and a graffiti fan to produce the first UK book showcasing the lost graffitis of the 80s. Most of it's in people's memories now, so I think this is bringing a lot of it back to life. So lots of people, even graffiti, even people that weren't graffiti artists, just looking at it and thinking about where they used to live and going, oh yeah, I kind of remember those, those pieces on those walls when I was you know, 15, 16 years old. Back in the 80s, a graffiti jam like this would have been impossible, as artists would have had to work in the dead of night to avoid being caught. But today, artists are here from around the UK, many of which who submitted work to the book, to celebrate the art form and to give these walls a fresh coat of paint. It's brilliant. I was just saying to someone that uh, every time I flick through that book, it always freaks me out when I see my bedroom wall from 1989 in there, because nobody ever saw that. The book has been excellent. I, I thought it was only going to be a small thing, but it's not. It's a really big thing. It's got so many photos and everything, and I thought, this is brilliant. The book has had a fantastic reception from the community of artists and fans, old and new, proving that what might be old school is still oh so cool. Over a thousand copies have already been sold, and with so much interest, there's talk of more to come. It's gone beyond our wildest dreams. I mean, putting it together, I could never imagined it to have gone like how it has. I actually submitted twice as much to go forward uh, because I got carried away. And there's so many unsung artists out there, and there's so much good work there. As it is at the moment, I've got enough that I could produce another book. Due to the popularity of the book, they're printing another 500 copies, which are available to order online. Amy Johnston, BBC Midlands Today, Wolverhampton. So talented, aren't they? Right.